I thought I would bring you along while I prepare breakfast for family of six. Um, it's Saturday morning. I'm going to do this live. Um, well, not a live stream, but a live recording. And um, get myself ready for the day. So I figured, why not bring you guys along while I make breakfast for me, hubby, and the kiddos. So, um, get myself some coffee first. Gotta have that. <laughs> down guys okay. I got a few of them up here watching cartoons the others are downstairs um playing some video games and mind you it's 9 35 a.m. but this is what my household looks like Saturday mornings um, some people, kiddos, might be sleeping in. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> so I'm actually getting this stove ready to start this bacon. We're having bacon. Um, all of my kiddos do not like bacon. Um, hubby can take it or leave it. So for the most part, it's myself and Tyler. And um, Pepsi. That'll eat the bacon. TJ and Tajan. Tajan's a hit or miss. TJ is an absolutely no. <laughs> absolutely no. I will not eat that. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting my bacon in my pan here, guys. Um, can't say that this won't be edited. I'm hoping not, but to be honest, I don't know how much storage I have left. I know I must be running low, um, so I'm hoping I can get through this entire video and show you guys my AM routine in one clip. If not, unfortunately, I will have to edit, and that's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop that on. ahead and get some of these hotcakes started because we're having um, hotcakes, bacon, and then I'm going to offer some fruit. I believe I have some peach slices that's cooling, chilling <laughs> in the ice box though. So. Mm. We're going to go with that. I'm sure all you mommies are coffee drinkers. Like I am, if not, I'm going to have some type of uh, tea or caffeine or something. <clears throat> so we are using the uh, Members Mark um, Buttermilk Pancakes here this morning. I'm just, these, I like them because they're complete. And right now during the pandemic, we can't afford to be spending um money to get the eggs and everything that goes with the ones that are not complete <laughs> i'm trying to cut corners and save any way i can <clears throat> i normally have to add the egg and everything but during the pandemic and the way these prices are rising guys i'm playing it safe and buying complete i do like this complete mess but i still would add eggs and milk but I'm not doing that now. <laughs> I'm going strictly by um, the directions on the package. And they're still tasty. Um, we do have blueberries. So I did offer the kiddos and hubby if they wanted blueberry pancakes. And they just want them plain. So that's what we're going for. Because they want to put 
um, whipped cream toppings on them. Sorry, I'm running this water for a long time. Yeah, they, they want to um, just have them plain because they want to put whipped cream and sprinkle on top. So, whatever food they're going. I'm just going to go ahead and give them what they want, you know. I'm not going to make a fuss. So, it's starting to smell good from the uh, bacon already in here. I was going to pull out my large griddle. I'm so used to cooking on the stove top though, guys. So, I'm going to just go ahead and roll with it. <laughs> I'm not going to make a fuss. I don't know what I need. Uh, what I need. Some tongues from the bacon. Let's see. Just waiting for my butter to melt here so I'm getting what I need ready. Put some tongues over here for bacon. Um, this coffee is actually good. I'm actually using that caramel macchiato um, creamer. <clears throat> really, really tasty. I'm going to check the bacon, guys. I have it on a medium to low heat. And it's starting to turn a little brown here. What do you guys got going on this weekend? Um, I think we're going to go over to the farmer's market. The kiddos have been having a rough time with their tablets. I actually contacted Amazon and they're under warranty. So we'll be sending those back. Um, they just had them in a year. And they've been giving me some problems. So I feel like it's time to go ahead and send those back. And get replacements and Amazon is doing something different now you know how they used to just let you send them back well they would send you out your new ones and then send you back the um, shipping labels and stuff to send the old ones back they're not doing it anymore they changed their policies and so now you have to send them the defective device and they will try to fix it either they will fix it and if they can't fix it then they'll go ahead and replace it but it's no more option to get your replacement up front and then um, they, they accept your return. They're not doing that anymore. I don't, I can't see why that would be because of the pandemic. I'm just thinking that's just something Amazon decided to do. Um, Cause that has nothing to do with, in my opinion, why would that have anything to do with the pandemic? So, that's just something that they told me on the phone. I was a little disappointed because that means the kids will have to be without their devices. <laughs> um, and those devices help me out tremendously when I'm doing things around the house and I need a little time. <laughs> those devices help me out like when I'm doing laundry or to minimize um, confusion. When I'm cooking or meal prepping, those devices help me out tremendously, and I don't have that option anymore unless I hubby was like, just buy some backup devices and have here. And I'm like, while that's a good idea, it's also not because what if nothing goes wrong with the current devices that they're using and we're holding those newer devices and then you know they finally get forced out of the old ones and we give them a new one and then something happened and we already expired the time for warranty because they sat here so long so I don't I don't know that's I'm still thinking about that one <laughs> he's insisting that that way. I, don't, I don't think I'm um, sold on that this yet I'm getting a plate so I can put these um, hot cakes on as they come out um, I don't know if I'm sold on that yet He's convinced that's what we should do, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. What would you do? But if 
finally got the whole pack of bacon in. You know, I normally let some cook. <clears throat> and then I kind of move them over so that I can get the rest of the pack in. So I got it all in now. Um, show you. There's a couple of hot cakes coming out now. Show you that. This is what we're looking like. Oh my god, look at that goodness, guys. Yeah. So I just as the bacon's going, the hot cake's going, and just get everything um keep it moving. <laughs> Before you know it, you cook breakfast. Listen. Hubby just came in. This is what we go through when he shows up. Don't mind that stuff you see on top of the fridge, guys. I was actually um, purging some things and I stopped. So I left those things up there until I picked back up on it today because I had to leave out and go to work last night. So I hate when it happens when I'm in the middle of a project and then I have to stop because I have to go to my overnight shift. And I haven't slept. <laughs> so, when I finish breakfast, I want to finish purging those things so hubby can take everything out. Um, and then after that, um, I'm going to get some rest. At least that's my goal. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so... My husband getting all excited about something in here. <laughs> him and the baby. And I just let him know y'all taking over my recording. You could talk. You could talk. This is real life right here, Tony. You could talk, sir. They normally be trying to be so quiet. Especially when they know I'm recording the upload and I don't want the noise, the background noise, because I don't want to get um copy a copyright strike. <laughs> So everybody's in here, they'll, they'll scatter. <laughs> sometimes it's harder to get Tajan to like, sometimes he knows. He'll, he'll be warning the other kids like, Dalut's, Dalut's recording. Shh. But then sometimes, and that's the, that's the one that just turned five a week ago. But then sometimes, uh, well, two weeks ago now, oh man, gee, wow, that was fast. Yeah, the five-year-old, he's normally telling everybody, be quiet, Dalut's recording. But he be the one making all the noise. It's so funny. But, um, yeah, we are, I'm going to get me some rest before anything. And we still can go over to the um, farmer's market. The kids like to go there because they like to go to that arcade that they have in there. Not that we don't have an Xbox, two Xbox, and a PlayStation 4 here. And as of yesterday, I hooked up two in your bedroom to keep them all occupied. Um, so we don't have to deal with he's taking my turn or he's cheating or whatever. So there's two on this system, two on that system. Everybody's playing. The games are we have um, in the system. So you don't even have to have the actual um physical game to put in the device because we have everything saved in the system and they have some of the same games on both systems but then um, each system has a separate game that they offer so they can pick and choose which game they want to play so they know which system they got to play and it's just to minimize the fever. Listen guys, you have four little boys. I don't know how it worked with girls because I was not blessed to have any little princess. I have all little prince running around here. <laughs> My son gave me all these grandbabies, but he didn't give me no little girl. Um, girls are... Okay, so my mother had three daughters. I'm the youngest of three girls. And after that, like me and my two sisters, well, when my one sister, everything blames, have a daughter and a son. My oldest sister, she comes in the lives. Well, she's watching, 
because she's studying and stuff, but she doesn't really communicate or come into the chat. But she has four boys, and then she finally had a girl. <laughs> They're all grown now, because her daughter's her youngest. And, oh my God, how old are they? That's her and my other nephew, my other sister's son at the same age. Um, oh my God, they so grown now. I don't quote me. I don't know their exact age, and it's a shame because he just had a birthday a couple days ago, this week. Oh my God. I'm, okay. So if I have to take a guess, I'm going to say 27 for those two. And then, um, me, I only had the one son. So we had basically boys and now our kids well you see my son gave me all boys good morning good morning to and then well hubby taught them that whenever they come up or see me the first thing they have to do is tell me good morning um okay so yeah um boys in our family so i had my all my grands are boys my sister Everything Bling have one grandson, two granddaughters. My oldest sister. Oh, good Lord have mercy. Let me see if I can track this now. <laughs> Everybody has babies now. All the kids have babies. So my oldest nephew has uh, two boys and a little girl. His next... The brother that's next to him has... Three boys, two girls. And the next one don't have any children. The youngest boy just had a daughter. She's one. And the, the daughter has two girls. So, yeah, that's our little family. I know a lot of families that have way more, like, grands and great-grands and stuff. But not our little family. Our little family because my mom only had three daughters and... <clears throat> the most green case she got was from my older sister who had five my other sister just had two and I only had the one so yeah I think there's more great grands though she got luckier with great grands than grands <laughs> I'm like how many grands did you expect to have between three girls and my mom loves those babies listen you know how my kiddos call her every day but if she don't hear from them, she's ringing that phone. And if a couple days go by, she's not going to do it. She loves you. Well, that's one batch, guys. Listen, my little man can eat. My little man can eat. And I normally tell them, you want more? Let me know. There's nothing for me to turn this skillet back on, and especially if I have to grill. <laughs> because uh, you can put so many on at once. I just didn't feel like taking it out today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Plus, I wanted to chit chat with you guys, so if I did it on the griddle, we would be done in 10 minutes. Um, I need some adult conversation. Even though nobody's talking back to me, Right now, it just feels good to talk to an adult. Whoever's listening, I appreciate you. Today is actually hubby's and I anniversary. I do have our wedding reception video up on, well actually it was yesterday, I'm sorry. On, um my community tab because it's something that I keep in a private playlist and I don't mean to have it out there at all times so I got it out there for 48 hours hopefully you guys are catching it I also shared it on both Facebook and Instagram and, and invited everyone over to my community tab on YouTube to go and watch that um where it all began <laughs> you'll see all the kiddos all of my grands was in it all running around in their little outfits are similar. I wanted everybody to know who the children were and especially like the photographer and everything. So I dressed them all alike. 
Hubby's children are in there. All of my grands. Um. <laughs> I remember that day like yesterday. I'll, I'll, I'm curious to see if you guys would even recognize like TJ and them. They were so young. You gotta think it was five years ago. And right now TJ is seven. So. <laughs> when I'm watching it back, whenever we watch it back, periodically, we always watch it for our anniversary, but, you know, like certain family members come or something and they ask to watch it, and we put it on. It's always cute to see how big these boys have gotten <laughs> from when we first, um, when it was first recorded until now, so let me line this with some paper. Yeah, that's always a pleasure to watch. And even them, they're like, that's me. I'm like, yeah, that's you. I'm taking the bacon out, guys. That's you. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's all done, guys. See that? Mmm, look at that deliciousness. That's ready. Hub's in here ironing clothes. I'm gonna be um, ironing a little, either a little later tonight. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna iron while I'm watching my shows or just relax and watch them because I have the night off, guys. But I do want to catch up on. Um, Married at First Sight, as well as um, Love After Lockup. Um, <laughs> so, I'm not sure if, if I'll pull the iron board out. I probably will because I'm going to be in that environment. <laughs> I call it that environment where I, antic where I anticipate on um, ironing. So, that won't be such a bad idea, I'm thinking, to just knock it out and then... I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, so we'll see. I hate little crumb pieces of the pancake. Um, show you what we're looking like. So we're getting on up there, guys. Getting on up there, they're nice and warm. I still have them. I'm gonna heat here. Um. I'm sorry guys. Yeah, I was giving TJ something. So they're still getting nice and warm. Um back here. Like I said, my boys can eat. And now to get their cups out. Get their juice poured. And get the fruit ready in case anyone wants some fruit so I get this mixed couple in. And then I can call my little ones up so they can eat. And then I'll be whipping puppies up in no time. Um, I'm not going to have any. I'm just going to have some, um, my coffee and I'm probably going to eat a bagel. I'm just not in the mood for hot cakes today. Um, it be like that. <laughs> Most of the time, and let me know if you guys are the same. By the time you finish cooking all this food, you don't even want to eat it yourself. Oh, I have a, like I said, this is some peach slices, so I have a couple cans of this stuff. And um, whatever they want, I have some pineapples too. So, whichever ones they want to eat, guys. Alright, I'm gonna get their cups out. And it's like, oh, that was stuck. Somebody put that here. Oh, Tajan. Tajan was up here helping me this morning. And he put that here. I gotta show him he put it in the wrong spot. He likes to be my helper. <laughs> I take all the help I can get. But then I'll bring him in and show him how to do it the right way. So. Um, he did help me make some. A picture of tea yesterday for dinner. 
And normally what we make for dinner is enough for, especially on weekends, breakfast the next day. If they want this type of juice or orange juice, we always keep orange juice. Um, and I keep like crystal light. This is actually country time, pink lemonade. But crystal light or any other type of sugar-free beverage. Um, or they'll have like some chocolate or strawberry milk or something like that. So almost done guys. Almost done. Um yeah. What are you guys gonna be doing today? Like I said, I'm gonna continue purging some of these cabinets and no I didn't record it. I didn't even feel like going to go get no tripod, no camera once. I went in there for something, right? And I didn't like what I saw. Looked like people, things were getting mixed up. Um, they were helping me out a lot. <laughs> um, especially because I was spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Kyra since his grandma passed. And so the kids have been stepping in, doing a lot. <laughs> Oh, Dalud, I'll help you, I'll help you. And not necessarily putting things back where they belong. And I'm pretty anal you know, about that. I think I vocalized that with you guys before. So, um, once I got there and saw that, I had to take over. <laughs> That's what I do. So, put the strings out. Let's see. Okay. He's not even. Yeah. You want peaches? Well, never mind. I'm just going to give all of y'all some fruit. Never mind. I got it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. He got the headphones on. I didn't realize I was disturbing him. So I'm just going to make sure everybody has some fruit on their tray. I'm not even going to get an option this morning. Nine times out of ten, if you put it on there, they will attempt it. And everybody do actually love uh, peaches, so go ahead and get all of their breakfast plated up here, guys. Um, Mama, and I do have some sprinkles here. And okay, let's go with the. I keep all this up here for when we're baking, so we do have some sprinkles here. I'm gonna put on top. I cut their pancakes still, guys. Anyway, to minimize choking hazards here, that's what I do. Um. So, I'm getting their breakfast cut. I'll show you guys in a second. Ooh, wrap with you a bit <laughs> while we're doing this. But um, this is over, and that was painless. Uh, yeah, get on with my day. Um, finish getting this stuff purged while they're having breakfast. <sighs> All I did was come in and take a shower after work, uh, read my Bible a little, um, until I heard the kiddos starting to get up. It's no need for me to go to bed because I'll be right back up doing breakfast if. Um, especially if hubby's at work, he just happened to be home this morning and I told him, don't even bother, um, 
going to get donuts this morning. Let me make them a nice hot breakfast as a family today. We're celebrating for our anniversary. We normally do, um, I think I told you guys, we normally do like donuts on the weekend. On Saturdays, like a grab and go style breakfast. But, I wanted to cook today, and I'll tell him that sometimes. Like, don't bother to make your morning run. <laughs> So what I do, guys, I give them what I think they're going to eat up front, and then they can always come back and have more. It is warm in here. You know I have my private summers. <laughs> so... I even cut his up too. Listen, nobody got time for all that choking and stuff, y'all. <laughs> Parents, cut those kids' food up. Everybody want to say, I'm a big boy, I'm a big girl, but you know, nobody wants to go to the ER. So, cut that stuff up. It could be a big boy and a big girl in other areas. I've had clients, adult clients. Um, choke on things. We all know um, there was an incident in New Jersey. I think it was North Jersey. I'm in South Jersey though. With a group home staff. Where they had taken a client to a doctor's appointment. And this was a special needs client. But an adult client nonetheless. And the client did really, really well on that appointment. So the staff promised the client that if he did well on his appointment that he would take him out for a bagel which was his favorite and the client did well and the staff was delivering on his promise the staff was driving and um, the client eventually um, he well not eventually he ended up choking on that bagel and the driver had no knowledge of it I'm sneaking some bacon on their, their trays anyway. I'm going to see if they eat it. <laughs> the ones that I told you are not particular about it. That's how he eats it, so I'm going to give him extra. I think I got extra. But the ones that I said is not particular about it. I'm not going to put extra. Ties here. Okay. So, this is all ready, guys. I'm going to just turn the camera around and let you guys see what we got going on. We still have some batter back here, some extra pancakes for the boys, extra bacon. We're ready, guys. We're ready. Just got to dish up some of the peaches for Kair. I have to find him a tray. He and I are planning a trip to the Dollar Tree, so we'll grab him a tray then. Um, we have plenty of cups, but I just want him to have a tray like the other boys. So, love and respect all from the Amachi Tribe. Again, go check out Hubby's and I. Um, fifth, well, it's our wedding anniversary, but this is our fifth wedding anniversary. But it's our actual wedding reception video and it's over on my community tab just tap the link and enjoy and leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of the whole um nigerian culture that we embraced during our reception love and respect